Hi everybody, Anna K. Morris here with your day 11 coaching video. And today's video is, is a really, really good one. And um, especially if you're a parent, um, I think you'll, well, I mean, if you're anybody, but I find it, uh, uh, the example that I'm gonna use today, um, well, I have a lot of examples, <laughs> so much. Okay, so it's about timing. Spoiler alert, it's about timing. Um, the timing really is everything, right? So, which also brings me to this word, luck. And I just looked it up because I was like, what is it that people say about luck? Because I personally do not believe in luck. Like I know it's a word, I know it exists, I know people say it. I personally don't believe that there is such a thing because what what is said according to people, I don't even know, um, Oh, who said it? Let's find out who said it. Oh, a Roman philosopher, Seneca, once said, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Okay, so said another way, timing. And it's never the wrong timing. It's always the right timing because it is what it is. I think that we live in a world of like not accepting how things actually are. We want it to be something different. So then we say it's not the right time. And I would say it's the right time if it's here, right? So I'll give you a couple of examples. Let me land this. Um, last year when I was pregnant with Dean, um, those of you that know me know that um, I had preeclampsia with Dean. Um, I was put on bed rest. I had super, super high blood pressures. I think like a very high risk for a stroke, which... Thankfully, I did not realize at the time because I think that would have been, made the blood pressure even higher. Um, and it was just really hard. And around that same time, a house that I have loved, 201 North 9th Street in Temple, Texas, um, the owner said that he was ready to sell it. And I was like, oh shit, um, I am not ready to buy it. And Derek asked me this question. He said, okay, like, I, I know that you don't want to buy it. We both don't really want to buy it right now. And will you be really pissed off if you see somebody else buy it and do something with it? And I was like, I will not be able to drive by it or walk by it ever. I will be devastated because that's my house. Like that's my house to do a cafe in, a gourmet grocery, our design office, yoga, like all the things that I really, really, really crave um, in Temple that I that I'm that is missing for me, um, I want in that house. I just want all the things that I have to go other places to get, um, and I want it walkable. Like it's not enough that if it's across town. Like I want to be able to walk to the gathering house, which is what we're calling it. And so he was like, "Okay, well then we'll figure out a way to buy it," and we did. And we have been paying a mortgage on it every single month, writing that check, because we knew that it was our house. Um, and now all the things are coming into play for it to work. And the timing is beautiful and perfect. And there are other people involved that the timing wouldn't have been right back then, but like we needed to just have the house. So I say this because there's a lot more to it, right? If you watched my video yesterday, if you haven't, please do, because I talk about the preparation. The preparation is everything. If we hadn't had investors and financing in place from all the years that we've been doing work with them, we wouldn't have been able to buy that house. It wasn't fucking luck. It was that we were prepared. We had been proving ourselves time and time again to people that have invested in us. And so when we said, hey, we wanna buy this other house, they were like, sure, no problem. When do you need the money? We were like, right now, let's go. So that was all like that preparation and the opportunity combined to make luck. I would say, opportunity also there's something about the div divine right like there was something that called both of our spirits that like we this is something that we need to do this is a contribution this is something that we would like to create for our neighborhood for our community for our town um and so that little inner voice and I talk about it a lot if you're in my coaching program or if you've ever been in my coaching program I talk a lot about your little voice and the trick and the thing that I coach everybody on is how to get that little voice to lead more and more of your life. Now, that little voice is not loud. 
that little voice is very, very quiet. It's very, very subtle. For some of you watching, you might not even know really what I'm talking about. But I'm gonna guess that if you get really honest with yourself, you do. So let me tell you a little bit about that voice. That voice is the one that maybe said on your wedding day, not to marry that person because that happens and you all know what I'm talking about. Those of you who are divorced right now, I'm gonna guess something you always knew, right? We always actually know. We say we don't know. When you say you don't know, you are scared. That's it. When I say, I don't know what to do next. Are you kidding me? I totally know what to do next. I need to write a book. I am scared. Okay, I can deal with that now. But it's this whole like, oh, I don't know bullshit. You know. Okay, so I'm getting a little off topic. But I am talking about timing, right? Timing is everything. And I'm, I'm going to loop it back to what I was talking to yesterday about how I had done six months of working with an energy healer, working with a shaman, and cleaning up my love life because it was a mess. Guys, I was not a person you wanted to be in a relationship with. It was fun, but it was kind of a train wreck. So, and I was real addicted to the drama of it and really, really into like the heightened everything, the, the high, 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 and then the low, 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 right? Um, so I never really did, I never really got into drugs, but that was like my drug of choice, right? It was like falling in love and then falling out of love and being devastated and blah, blah, blah. So it took me some time to clean up my act and then when I moved to Austin, I got the perfect apartment. I mean, it was like, I could see the violet crown, um, which is what they call the um, sunset. I was overlooking um, the green belt. I was right next to Yoga Yoga. I was living on South Lamar in the first kind of new, cool apartment complex um, at the time before South Lamar really blew up. Um, and it was just like absolutely perfect. I got all new furniture. I had the corner apartment with the with the balcony and all the things. And my mom, three weeks after I moved in, it was perfect. It was right before Christmas, a week before Christmas. And, um, and my mom said, oh my gosh, Anna, you just got everything you wanted. Look at this beautiful apartment. And I stood in the doorway and I was like, nope. I just got a perfect apartment. I said I wanted a man of my dreams, a dog in the backyard. And instead, I got confused and I did what I know to do, which is make pretty places, and I made a perfect apartment. So what I did in that perfect apartment, when I, because I had a really big walk-in closet, my mom was like, oh, and now you can put your winter clothes in the closet and da-da-da-da-da. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. If, you, if you're okay with this, I'm gonna keep them at your house in this closet. I didn't need a lot of winter clothes. I'm living in Austin now. I said, this area right here, it was like a quarter of the closet, maybe a third of the closet. I said, this is for my future husband. This spot right here is for the man of my dreams. And I'm gonna make sure that he even has some empty hangers. I'm gonna buy him a pack of hangers because I really love men in a, a man in a button down shirt. So I'm gonna leave him some hangers there. I'm even gonna get some nice men's body wash so that when he comes over, he's got everything that he needs to feel comfortable. I kid you not, one week later, I went out with Derek. One week after that, he was in that shower. <laughs> he was hanging up his shirts in the closet. <laughs> so that is what I'm talking about. It's timing, but guys, I did a shitload of work leading up to that date. I was ready. I was prepared. And the universe conspired in my favor. That's what I believe, that the universe is always going to conspire in your favor, right? So the universe is net positive. I don't even think it's neutral. I believe it's positive. Look around you, look at the trees, the grass, the regrowth, you tear things down, you build it back up, right? So the, the world is positive. Now I'm gonna loop it back to parenting because I know I said earlier in this video, um, if you're a parent, then you'll understand even on a different level timing. So we have a three and a half year old and he, same as Jack, and he um, really, really, really loves his pacifier. And he has passy and lovey, and it has been hard to break passy away. We don't care so much about lovey. I mean, lovey's nice, but like we're not trying to take lovey away. But 
we it's hard for us to understand him he's got a pacifier every single time he gets upset about something he's like wanting to pass he wanting to pass he wanting to pass he having like meltdowns about it so it's been kind of challenging and we've been preparing him this past week that like come tuesday today's tuesday um, Passy is, is going to go away, that we're not going to use Passy anymore. And so we've been talking about this for a week. We've done this before. It didn't work because we didn't really stick to it. And at the time, like, you know, we just, we just didn't. So, um, today on the way to school, Derek took him to school. Um, Jack handed him Passy and said, daddy, I don't need Passy anymore. I'm all done. And I say that because that was Jack's timing. He was now, he is now ready, right? I'll give you another example for you, especially for you parents out there that are really struggling with, with kids and timing and why aren't they this or that. Like, you know, Dean just turned a year old. He still doesn't have teeth. I'm not worried about it. He'll get, get teeth whenever. That's his timing. Jack didn't get teeth for a year and a half, but there's a big thing about sleep, right? Because everybody wants their baby to sleep. And Jack slept through the night at six weeks old. And we thought it had something to do with us, that it was like our sleep training. And here's Dean, and Dean didn't sleep through the night. And it didn't make any fucking difference what kind of sleep training we tried. I mean, we tried it all, all the things. We were doing the snoo, we were doing the Magic Merlin suit, we're doing all the things because we were so exhausted and we wanted him to sleep. And when Dean started sleeping was when he started walking. The minute he ran across the house, which he was about 10 months old, so it was about two months ago, um, he slept through the night, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. That was his timing. This little kid needed to walk and he really wasn't happy and he really wasn't worn out enough or whatever it was, it was his timing. And so I say this because we all have our natural timing. I have known for 15 years I've wanted to write a book. I told my best friend, like, I think I'm going to write a book now. And she was like, really? Because you've been talking about it for a very long time. Is now the time? I'm like, I think so. I've tried this before, but I did it when I was pregnant. That didn't feel great. Now feels like the time, but I'm going to make it fun and easy. I know how to approach it differently. I've talked in another video about how I'm going to approach it differently and make it more fun and kind of around me versus like in this laptop. So I say that because yes, yes, the timing is perfect. You don't think that it is. And I'm telling you that it is. Everything works for a reason. And if you knew how it was going to go, life would be so boring would be so so boring so just start to pay attention and be gentle and kind with yourself that the timing is perfect okay i love you i'll see you tomorrow bye